today we're going to be making this super cute butterfly bookmark. The materials that you're going to need are a little butterfly charm, eye pins, one head pin, crystal beads, and your choice of chip beads. You will also need a jump ring. I believe this is a five millimeter. You will also need a shepherd's hook bookmark. If you don't want to make a bookmark, you could also put it on a chain and this could be a super cute car charm. You're also going to need chain loose pliers, one step looper. I have a 1.5 millimeter. If you don't have a one step looper, then you're going to need round nose pliers and wire snips. Okay, so to start off, you're going to take whatever chip beads you're using or even regular beads if you like, and we're just going to make each piece separately and then lay them out. So I have two chip beads here. I'm going to use, uh, I forget what these are called, Amazonite. I think it's Amazonite. And you're going to take your one head pin that you have because there's nothing dangling here. And you're going to pick out two beads. I like to stack them. This one I have the bigger bead on the bottom smaller one on top and then up here it's the opposite. I have the bigger bead on top, the smaller on the bottom. And I'll just test out a few and see if I like them. I think I like this combo the best. And then you will take your one step looper if you have it and make your loop. If not, you're going to make your own. I'm going to snip about here for your loop. There we go. Take your chain nose and give it a little bend backwards. Then you take your round nose pliers. I like to hold mine about right here and bend towards you. You want to grab it right at the tip. Oops. And roll towards you. Roll, roll, roll till you get to the end there. And then you just want to close up the loop, if it's open at all, fix any inconsistencies. And there you go. And I'll show you again on the next ones. The next part is this bead. Wire is a little small here. I'm gonna hold your wire right about here. This is my leftover piece from the eye pin. Do you guys reuse yours? So I'll push it back, give it a little back bend there. So it looks like this. And then I will take my round nose pliers. You want to hold it in about the same place as you did the other one. And roll towards you. Readjust, roll, readjust, and roll. And just 
straighten it back out. And add your bead. And then you're going to do the same thing. Pinch, push it back. Your round nose. Grab it at the tip. And roll. Readjust and roll. Readjust and roll. Try not to crack your crystal. Next in the lineup is a butterfly. Again, we have another crystal. So get your eye pin and your crystal. Put it on. Straighten out your eye pin if you have any kinks. This time I'm going to use the looper. Now we have two chip beads again. Grab another eye pin. And put your beads on whatever way you'd like. For mine, I like the smaller on the bottom. Small, small one. And I like the way that looks. So I'm going to use my looper again. Put that right there. Then I have one more crystal bead right there. Another eye pin. And put your bead on. Looper. Now it's time to assemble. You're going to open up your loop. This is the bottom piece. You're going to open up your loop like a gate, open it towards you or away from you, whatever you prefer. Grab your second piece and loop it on. Make sure that when you close this loop, that it is touching this back bar so this piece can't come off. You want all your loops to be touching the back piece. Then we're going to go to the next part. Open the loop. For your orientation of the butterfly, you can have it going straight up and down if you'd like, but I like to have mine curved or turn to the side. So I'm going to put it right here in the bottom of the right wing so it's tilted on its side. 
when you close your loop, make sure it's nice and snug so nothing comes apart. For your next piece, you're going to open up the crystal. And put it in the top of the left wing if you'd like it tilted this way. Now close up your loop. Make sure it's nice and snug. And open up this next loop here. Thread on your next step of chip beads. And lastly, your crystal bead on the top. Double check all your loops. Okay, lastly, we need our bookmark and our jump ring to attach. So take your jump ring and put it on top crystal and then grab your bookmark, put it on as well. Okay, and there's your bookmark. If you guys see any other bookmarks that you would like me to make on camera, then comment down below and let me know which one you would like to see. Thank you for watching.